What's going on, Jerome? So now the Minnesota Fighting Vikings do need to find that Robin to Justin freaking Jefferson's Batman, and it could be KJ Osborne rising up as a wide receiver too. The Vikings could go in the draft. And what's interesting is the availability of five-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro receiver DeAndre Hopkins. He's on the trading block with the Arizona Cardinals, and apparently he's done just uh, you know buying his own dinner and all that stuff. And his availability has been the subject of trade speculation for uh, the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months. And also... Never rule out, hey, that guy played well against the scouting because, remember, New Hopkins last season, coming off a six-game PED suspension, uh, put up 12 catches, a buck 59, and a touchdown. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty good, right? So, And we're famous on this channel, maybe infamous, as muy infamoso for saying, hey, the Vikings need to trade for this guy. The Vikings need to sign this guy. The Vikings need to draft this guy. But with Nuke, I, I just don't see it. I, I really don't. Now, New Hopkins, uh, now he, he's come out and said, he, he put out on Twitter that he's not looking for a raise, and he's in the midst of his two-year $54.5 million extension side with the Cardinals, and the and the Vikings or whoever trades for him uh, would have to take on a $19.45 million base salary this season. Now, cap-wise, they could make it work. They could get rid of Dalvin and Zedarius and redo Brian O'Neill, all, all that stuff. So they could make it work, right? But uh, you have to respect his career. All right, Nuke Hopkins, Nuke Hopkins uh, turns 31 on June 6, and he's put up a Hall of Fame caliber career. Uh, he, he truly has six thousand plus yard seasons, 71 career touchdowns, and he's still a threat. Like he is still the outside the number X receiver, contest the catch specialist, go up and get a wide catch radius uh, type of receiver that that you know and, and love, and that's impressive. Even even at six one, uh, two twelve, he plays a lot larger than his size, but. I'm kind of out of it, really am. And yes, even though he he's a similar age to OBJ, and I was kind of in on OBJ. What can I say? I'm a hypocrite sometimes. It happens, man. But I think for specifically what the Vikings want to do and what Quasey has done with his free agents where they're betting on youth and upside, you know, he got rid of Adam Thielen because he was aging out. I, I don't see him. Uh, I, I don't see Quasey trading, giving up draft capital. It's rumored to be in the second round pick range. The Vikings don't even have a second round pick this year. But I, I don't see them giving up draft capital for a soon to be 31 year old receiver who's going to cost them $19.45 million uh, on the books this year. And a guy who's never been known as uh, a, a, a guy who gets separation, but is that contested catch guy. Uh, and yes, he's one of the cleanest route runners in the game. I, I don't see it happening. I, I just really don't. I just don't think that it syncs up with what Quasey has wanted to do. And I, I do think that Hopkins, I mean, there's been talk that he could end up in Baltimore uh, as well as uh, with OBJ and Lamar Jackson. But I think it's more likely the Bills, him and uh, him and Stephon Diggs. The Chiefs obviously make sense because the Chiefs get everyone as well as the, the Jets and the Patriots. But, I mean... Yes, leave no stone unturned, but I think the Vikings are kind of fine with the receiver room right now, and I, I think for sure they will partake in the draft. But as much fun as it's been, and I, I do remember the last couple of years, like when Hopkins was with the Texans uh, up through 2019 or when he was went to, when he went to Arizona, it's just like, mm, we can make this happen. Uh, in fact, when the Vikings traded Diggs, I was a big advocate for, hey, send him to Arizona and uh, we'll pick up uh, or send him to Houston. We'll, we'll pick up DeAndre Hopkins or vice versa or, or whatever. But either way, th th this ain't the time. And it it's a longstanding tradition that we've always wanted Arizona receivers to land with the Vikings. But, yeah, this one ain't it. It's not the right time. It's not the right place. And, nah. Nah, nah. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. The Vikings should not trade for DeAndre Hopkins. Your, uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.